Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com and I wanted to talk to you today about untracked Git stash files. That is, if you've got some files that aren't normally tracked by Git, but you want to shove them in your stash, how do you do it? I'll explain. So allow me to run just a couple of commands to show you how this works. I'm going to start off with a, a git bash shell here in this folder named git stash unchanged files and I'll just initialize a git repository right off the bat and then touch a file which I will call tracked file.html. I know that's tracked because I've added it to the git repository right there, added it to the git index and I can also commit it. And if I do a git status command, you can see I'm on branch master, nothing to commit. Um, and that file is indeed tracked now. Um, but what happens if I put in an untracked file? So let's touch untracked file.html. Do a git status command. Look at that. Um, this particular untracked file is untracked. How interestingly named it is. Um, now normally if I do a git stash, that file is not going to get added to the stash. But if you want it, all you have to do is say git stash push. You don't have to say push, but I'm just doing it here to emphasize the idea. Um, so you say git stash push, and then add this include untracked switch. Now there's also a dash dash all switch. The dash dash all switch will include untracked files and files that would otherwise be ignored by the git repository. Um, but uh, I don't want to do that. Um, by the way, uh, notice the two files that I've got in my folder here, tracked file and untracked file. After I do this stash push, uh, you're gonna see some tomfoolery happen. So let me do that push, saved workspace. And also notice that the untracked file disappears. Now, the untracked file is removed from the file system because after we do a git stash, there's a git reset hard, and then there's a, a git clean, which removes any untracked files. Uh, but we've still got that file saved locally in the stash. I'm going to do a git ref log command just so you can see. Yeah, you know, we had that first commit, and then you also see this hard reset that happens as well. So where's that file? Well, it's stashed. That untracked file is indeed stashed. Can I get it back? Of course I can. It's in the stash, so I just have to do a pop. As soon as I do the pop, that untracked file comes back, and now it's accessible to me. And there you go. That's how you track untracked files in your Git stash. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there, and we got lots of great Git, GitHub, GitLab, DevOps, and server-side software development articles and tutorials. If you're interested in my personal antics, why don't you follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And, of course, you can always subscribe on YouTube.